guys, my name is Nick, also known as Touch Ninja, and this is going to be another Ninja unboxing. We're actually live from Tara's and I's new apartment. Uh, if the scenery looks a little bit different, um, Toby is wandering around, so if I start opening boxes and he starts jumping in the camera, you know he's here. <laughs> so, yeah, so these are mystery boxes. Well, not mystery to me because I know I know what they are. But they're mystery to you guys, right? Right. So we'll start off with this one. So these are boxes from Newegg. This is actually it was supposed to be one order, but they came separately for some odd reason. One was shipped from California, one of them was shipped from New Jersey. Considering it was shipped from New Jersey, I was actually surprised they even got here. So we got some popcorn foam going on in here. Dig in. Where are you? Come on. Ah. Alright, that's the bill. You don't need that. Okay, so first box. This is empty now. I'm not gonna I'm gonna put it over here. Because Toby will eat all that stuff. First thing we got is a sound card. This is the Asus Essence STX, the Zonar edition. So this is a high definition sound card for my PC because onboard audio sucks and I have I want to do an upgrade. So that is that. Yeah, I'll hit this lamp right here. Get some more light up in this bitch. Okay. And if you want to know what headsets I am going to be using with this, uh, I got picked up the Sennheiser I forget what model these are. HD 548s? I don't even remember. But they're Sennheiser headsets. So if you get a good sound card, make sure that you get a good pair of headsets. Next, this box. I love this, uh, <laughs> I love their saying, may contain awesome. Okay, next. Ah, we got a different type of wrapping here. So, first package. We got a 32 gigabyte kit of Corsair Dominator Platinum RAM. Pretty sexy. Let's see if I can open this up. Let me give you guys a look see. It's caught somewhere. Yeah, there you go. Um, give me one second. I'll take one out for you guys. So this is a 32 gigabyte stick. I am wrapping, I'm using LG, uh, my motherboard is a Maximus 5, so it maxes out at, it's 11, LGA 1155, so it maxes out at 32 gigabytes. Uh, if you go with LGA 2011, it maxes out at 64 gigabytes, but I'm not that baller, so LGA 1155 was good enough for me. So here we go. The, this is probably the sexiest RAM I've ever seen in my life. Look at that. That is beautiful. So like I said, it's an 8 gigabyte stick and this bar up actually up here and this area right here about the heat sinks actually light up. And apparently in September at some point, uh, Corsair is going to re release a custom lighting kit so you can actually change uh, the color of the lights. Personally, my PC has a, a red theme going on to it, so maybe pick up a red kit. So eight gigabytes, six, uh, there's four of them, and these are clocked at 1866. There we go. So if you don't understand, this is basically a PC update video. Next, I wanted to upgrade my power supply because I plan to do crazy things with my PC. And I don't know what Toby's eating over there. I hope it's not too insane. And I just ruined you guys, ruined the box, the unboxing for you guys, be good. But, the final component is this, a new power supply. Um, before I was using a... Alright, so look, not sure if there's technical difficulties, but we are back. Um, so Corsair power supply, um, I was rocking an HX1050 before, that was uh, 80 plus silver rating. Uh, and this is the brand new flagship power supply from Corsair. This is the AX1200i. It replaces the uh, AX1200 as Corsair's most beefiest power supply. Uh, as you can see, it up, it's been upgraded to 
uh, 80 plus platinum rating. You can use Corsair Link, uh, which allows, it's kind of like Corsair's monitoring system. You pay like an extra hundred bucks for the box, but I probably won't do that, uh, even though I do rock an H100. And let's see if I, I can open this baby. Knife away so I don't stab anyone. Come on. Out of the box. There we go. Pretty box. There we go. So we get nice soft foam. Linus's favorite. Protects all the good stuff in the inside. Power cable. Don't know what this is yet. Corsair link cable. And uh, we got some zip ties and a power by Corsair case badge manual and apparently these cables look sick. Yeah. Corsair does a great job with their cables as you can see all black which any person who's building a PC can appreciate even the ugliest cable of all the 24 pin connector Usually around here you see like ugly yellows and reds and stuff, but the cables are actually very, very sweet. Um, they're not individually sleeved, as you can tell, they are one sleeve. Um, I know that Corsair actually create, uh, makes, uh, it sells secondary as, you can buy sleeve cables from Corsair for some of the power supplies. The AX1200 did have individual sleeve cables for like 100 bucks off Corsair's site. Um, but I'm not 100% sure if the AX1200i is going to be compatible with the AX1200 cables. So that's just a disclaimer right there. So, alright, let's see here. This is what you came for. The power supply. And there it is. So yeah, I'm really, really excited to try out this power supply. Um, 1200 watts, there's really nothing that you need anything this generation in terms of graphics cards that you need more than that. Um, reversible logo so you can post it or install it any way you want, fan facing down or fan facing up. The logo will still be the correct way. And other than that, that's pretty much it for the unboxing. So we got the power supply, we got the RAM, and we got the Zone, the Zonar STX sound card. So yeah. Just a couple of upgrades I'm planning to do to my rig. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys would like to see a tour of the entire place, uh, be sure to give the video a quick rating to let me know. I'll give you the special ninja tour of our new apartment. And as well, if you want to see an updated rig, my PC rig, uh, also give the video a quick rating and I'll give you guys a tour of my man cave. Alright, other than that, hope you guys enjoyed the video and have a fantastic day.